guys? How's it going? It's Matt here. So I got one question for you. Can you mention, do you know, what the very first Sig Sauer unique modular pistol system is where you can take the chassis out and put it in different size frames that can be used in different calibers? Can you name what that pistol is? If you said Sig Sauer P320, you are wrong. It is the Sig Sauer P250. Mm -hmm. So, this is the gun, this is the pistol, the Sig Sauer, that everybody talks crap about. Everyone hates that people say, you can't shoot with that, it's the worst shooting pistol ever. This is that gun that people hate, and they think it's the ugly gun that, you know, it's just the ugly gun that no one likes. I don't think it's ugly. But, why is that? Because, unlike the Sig Sauer P320, which is actually specifically based off of this model to the point where this frame is interchangeable between the 250 and the, C and the 320, where these magazines are both for the Sig Sauer P250 and the Sig Sauer P320, or as if you order a holster, you'll notice there's front serrations for the Sig Sauer P320, but it's specifically designed for the 250. Now, why do you think that is? That's because these two pistols are one and the same. The only difference between this one and the 320 is that the slide doesn't have front serrations. It's not as narrow, doesn't have front serrations. And this one is double action only. That's right, it's got a hammer. It is double action only. All right, so that is the only difference between these two pistols. Now this double action only pistol, all right, has one of the lightest triggers you will ever feel in a double action pistol. It is just a very, very light trigger. It's a light, it's a long trigger pull, but it's a light, long trigger pull, all right? So I remember someone was doing a test. The actual trigger pull of the 320 and the 250 is the same weight. The only difference is this one is longer pull, all right? So that's the only difference between these two pistols. It says the front serrations, and this is double action only, all right? So, so many people do not like this gun. People just don't like this gun because they can't shoot it, all right? The reason they can't shoot it is because they're used to striker fire pistols. Striker fire pistols where it is such a light trigger pull that you almost don't even have to think about trigger control. All you have to listen for is the audible, audible reset. That's what they like, the audible reset because they don't have to focus on the actual trigger pull itself. Whereas this one, when you're at the range and you're shooting it, you have to focus on that trigger pull where you will throw your rounds, all right? You have to, all right? So this is basically a semi-automatic revolver. I mean, that's basically what it is. So, you know, when I first bought this, it was a couple years ago when I bought it, I had actually traded in a bunch of Marine Corps memorabilia from Iraq in for it because I saw it at the gun store and I actually thought it was a 320 when I first saw it and I saw the price on it and I'm like, holy crap, I can trade this stuff in and get that money for it. So I ran to the local surplus store, traded in all that money for it and I went out and I bought this. So I originally thought that this was the 320, like I said. Until I pulled it out, of the, you know, I, I wanted to see it at the gun store. I pulled it out. I took a look at it. I cleared it like you do. You clear every gun. You treat every gun that you have not handled as if it's loaded, all right? Once you've already cleared it, you can do whatever you want with it, guys. But if you hand it off to someone, then they have to verify that it's cleared, all right? That's, that's what the first safety rule is about. But anyway, I digress there. So I in the range. I take a look at it. I clear it. And then I change, I check, I pull the trigger. I'm like, ah, oh, such a great sight. I was like, man, it's a great sight. And then I go, I'm like, whoa, there's a hammer on it. I thought the 320 was striker. Why is there a hammer on a, on a striker fired? Is it a new type of striker fired hammer system? Is that what makes it unique? I wasn't sure what was going on at first. And then I took a look at it and I'm like, six hour P250. I'm like, huh, I thought this was a 320. But then I kind of looked at it again. I pulled the trigger pull. It's got a flawless, beautiful front sight tip, guys. Beautiful front sight picture and alignment. Actually comes with SIG light night sights. And I was like, okay, I'm getting night sights. I have this awesome sight picture, sight action. It's a long trigger, but it's a very crisp trigger, and I like it. It feels really good in the hand. I'm going to buy it. So I bought it for $300, all right? I bought it. Then the first thing I did when I got home was... I went on YouTube and I looked up six hour P250 and it took me straight to nothing fancy. And I, I followed nothing fancy for years. 
And the name of the video was Six Hour P250 Hall of Famer Pistol. All right. And then I'm like, whoa, that sounds like it's a good pistol. And I watched him, and it is a freaking nail driver. When you're watching Nothing Fancy, it's a nail driver. And I was just like, wow, it's pretty cool. It looks like it's a really good gun. But all the people that were at the range with him couldn't hit a damn thing when he handed it to them. They could not hit a single thing with this pistol. Nothing Fancy was just pulling up and ping, 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 ping. And the other guys, they just couldn't hit it. And they're like, oh, I don't like it. I, I just don't like it. I don't like how it feels, and I don't like the trigger. And it, it's just, it, I don't like the gun. It's not a good gun, is what they would say. The problem was, is they were part of the striker fired polymer age where they are so used to a light, audible reset trigger that they don't actually need to focus on the trigger, that they didn't want to have to have the patience to have to focus on the trigger control, all right? You know, and remember, guys, trigger control is the number one thing when it comes to marksmanship because the trigger control controls sight alignment sight picture sight movement if you have bad trigger control or if you have a bad trigger control the pistol is going to jerk and move to the sides and you're going to throw your rounds all right so trigger control is the is the most important but part they didn't want to be patient and they didn't want to have to focus entirely on that trigger control they just wanted to pull the trigger and go that's all they wanted to do so that says a lot about gun owners today all right it really says a lot about especially younger gun owners they are so used to the polymer wonders and the polymer striker fired light triggers that they lack in trigger fundamentals, all right? Now, get me wrong, some of them are good shots. Don't get me wrong, they're good shots. And they have good trigger control for the pistols. But if you give them a double to single action pistol or you give them a double action only pistol, they will have a hard time shooting it because they just don't understand and have never been trained on true trigger control. So... Now, the technique that I followed not fancy, which I actually took to the range after I bought this, and I found out that this is actually a freaking nail driver. I mean, it's just a freaking accurate as hell. The technique I use is pretty simple, guys. What you do, you pull the trigger. You stage the hammer. You can actually feel when it's about to break. You can feel it about to break. And once it gets there, you take a pause and squeeze the trigger, keeping the finger on the trigger until it resets. You wait there until it's staged. Squeeze the trigger, keeping your finger on the trigger until it resets, all right? That is the only technique you need for it. It's not that complicated, all right? But people just don't understand it, and they don't know how to do that. And they don't want to have to do that because it requires them to focus on the trigger control to a T. Now, here's some video of me at the range, and you can actually take a look at the specific technique. So here it is. See what I mean, guys? Now, one thing that I've learned about, you, know, you can learn this through YouTube, or if you just, you know, you look at any type of training places and you look on their rosters, items you need to bring, they usually say a striker fired pistol, all right? They usually say a striker fired pistol. And I've seen several training schools, even out here, say you need a striker fired pistol to attend this class. The reason behind that, guys, is because the trainers don't want to have to focus, put extra time and emphasis into the trigger control. They want to get to the cool stuff, to the stuff that people see on YouTube and the tactical shooting. They want to get to that stuff and teach people how to do that. They don't want to have to spend extra time specifically on trigger control and have to work individually with the students to make sure they have their trigger control down. That's why they don't want double action only triggers on it and a lot of them don't even want double to single action triggers on it a lot of people just don't want that they want striker fired pistols in their class because it saves them time which means they can punch people through the class quickly and get their money all right so yes double action only pistols is starting to become a lost art all right 
double action and single action pistols, it's still out there, but it's also starting to become a lost art because there's so many striker fire pistols in the world that so many people are leaning over to striker fire pistols because that's what everyone's preaching, striker fire, striker fire, striker fire. Whereas you have a pistol like this, that's $300. When this was released, this was a $700 pistol when it was released. I mean, this is the full SIG package. I mean, this is the full SIG package. Durability, all right. Precision, all right. Full night sights, all right. It's accurate as hell. It feels good in your hand. And when you shoot it, it will amaze you if you follow that those fundamentals. It will amaze you every single time you pull a trigger. And you'd be amazed that when you're at the range and you're looking down that sight and you're focusing on that trigger pull, you're going to follow through, boom, you're going to follow through, that when you put that pistol down and you look at the target after you've used your tire magazine, you'll notice that exactly the place where that front sight tip was is where the rounds impacted, all right? It failed because people don't want the double action only trigger. They wanted a striker fire pistol. When they saw, when they heard that SIG was coming out with a polymer framed accurate pistol, they automatically assumed it was going to be another striker fire pistol or kind of like a classic SIG double to single action trick, you know, pistol. When it came out to be a double action only pistol, people just didn't like it and they didn't want it anymore. So people stopped buying it. So when you find these in gun stores, the average price for these is right around three to four hundred dollars tops now when this was released this was a six to seven hundred dollar pistol all right so and like i said before that you were getting the entire sig package in this pistol all right this is a good pistol and i don't care what other people say to me that's actually a pretty sexy pistol guys it has that classic those classic sig lines that classic sig look to it and it's such a good shooter like i said yeah the double action trigger is kind of tough to deal with, but once you get over that and once you learn the techniques, you'd be amazed at how often you end up carrying this. In the warmer months, 90% of the time, this is the pistol I will have on my body, all right? The reasons behind that is compact size, all right? It's small enough to seal, big enough to fight with. It is a nail driver. I am very accurate with it, accurate with it. and when I take this to the range, it surprises me every time. So I have no problem putting this on my hip, all right, when I'm out in public. I have no problem with that, all right? No problem whatsoever. I love this pistol. I actually really like this pistol. Now, the double action trigger, like I said, it, it's hard to get used to, but once you get used to it, you will be amazed. But I'm telling you, if you are looking in the market for a good quality semi-automatic pistol that is a nail driver that will get the job done, if you don't mind the double action trigger and are willing to put the time and effort into getting used to that trigger, this pistol is right up your alley. They all come with standard night sights, all right? They come with SIG light night sights, all right? It, interchangeable frames, like I said, this is the original chassis system, interchangeable frames, interchangeable calibers, except the 45, 45 is the same as 320, has a specific frame and, you know, slide for that just because of the size of it. But guys, I'm telling you, it's a great way to go. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. And remember, guys, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.